Shoe's too tight, giving you a blister. Put a Band-Aid on it. That pesky little hangnail you just can't seem to grab with your fingers. Just put a Band-Aid on it. Dicing up the tomatoes for your mom's homemade pasta sauce and you clip your finger. Put a Band-Aid on it. Or what about getting yet another shot to prevent you from getting sick? Just put a Band-Aid on it. There are so many different uses for Band-Aids. But today we will find out where they originally started. We will go through the history of Band-Aids, the practical use of Band-Aids, and the alternatives. Back in 1500 BC, ancient Egyptians used honey to protect wounds, but that isn't where Band-Aids were first created. To get there, we would have to cut through a few more years. Earl Dickerson was newly married to his wife, Josephine. Josephine was prone to cutting her fingers in the kitchen. Dickerson wanted to create a Band-Aid that Josephine could easily apply herself. Dickerson was already working for Johnson & Johnson, so he took two of the products that they had already created, adhesive tape and gauze. Dickerson laid the gauze to, right to the center of the adhesive tape, making sure that the adhesive was not on the wound. This Band-Aid was easy for his wife to apply by herself, and he soon showed his boss this. As word got around, Johnson & Johnson had knew they had created a new product. But these Band-Aids didn't stick for everybody because within the first year, only $3,000 worth of Band-Aids were sold. Why, you might ask? Because people didn't know how to use them. When Johnson & Johnson learned their mistake, they hired a traveling sales agent to go around and show people how to use the product. After this, the product became so popular that during World War II, millions of Band-Aids were sent overseas to the front lines. Um, according to the history of wound care, the Band-Aids that were sent uh, overseas were originally created in 1988. As we cut into our next, uh, as we cut over to the how to properly use a bandage, we find that our first step is to stop the bleeding. To stop the bleeding, we will need to apply pressure to the wound. You can use a cloth or gauze. Um, wounds that are deeper are going to bleed for longer. So if the wound is on your arm or leg, raise it above heart level, heart level to stop the bleeding. After the bleeding stops, we will need to rinse off the wound. To rinse off the wound, you can use clean, cool water or hydrogen peroxide. After the wound is clean, we will need to dry it and then apply Neosporin or antibiotic ointment. When applying the ointment, make sure that you apply the ointment to the wound and not onto the bandage. Many people make the mistake of applying the ointment onto the bandage, which can create a moist environment, which will take longer for your wound to heal. Now it is time to pick our size. Knowing what size is very important because if the bandage is too small, it, the adhesive can be on the wound, which can make it longer, which can take longer for it to heal. As we skip over to our alternatives, we find that using a skin barrier film is a great alternative. When applying this, we need to make sure that there is no adhesive touching the skin because to, the most common reason that we need alternatives is because people are allergic to the adhesive that makes the bandage stick to the person. This um, this alternative is a little bit more difficult because we don't want the skin barrier to be directly onto the wound. Another alternative is using tubular netting and gauze. This is a great alternative because the gauze has no adhesive and the tubular netting holds the gauze in place. This is very important for burn victims because burn victims have to change their dressing every few hours. While ripping off a Band-Aid every few hours can get irritating, while just unraveling the netting and changing the gauze out is a lot more practical.
as we wrap up the last section of this speech, we we now know so much more about Band-Aids. And I can't forget to mention all the different kinds of Band-Aids there are. There is regular colored Band-Aids, skin toned Band-Aids, animal print Band-Aids, and cartoon Band-Aids. This practical use item has grown so much from where it originally started to where it is today. So the next time that you cut your finger or scrape your knee, you know who to call.